Hi, welcome back. In our last video, we saw how to uh, display the doctor, right? So you can see the uh, if you execute the program, you will be able to see the doctor details will be loaded to the combo box. Now I want to load the patient details. So what you are going to do is go back to our source code. Here we have tried to copy this doctor function, paste it below. This one make it as patient. Right, patient. Here also we have select all from patient. One thing you have to do differently, so only the things you have to change to the patient table. So here the patient table, here have to write the patient also, we have to write the same method. I just copy it, paste it below. Patient item. This also you have to make it as patient item. Uh, the remaining thing, all the things are key pass it is uh, ID name. Right. That's the thing you have to write. Okay, so okay, this one should be the patient. This combo box we are called as patient. Now here, let's run the program and check. Uh, we have to call the patient, copy this, paste inside this constructor, execute the program, not this new assignment. Here. Both are displayed successfully. Doctor and patient both are displayed successfully. Right? Now let's see the save part. Hi. Now what you are going to see, we have displayed the doctor and uh, patient successfully. Now here what you are going to do is, I have to add the details in the database. So we have to uh, save button. First, what you are going to do is, we have to, this all the data we have to assign the respective variable. So here first one should be the date and time and doctor. So first what you are going to do is you apply string date equal txt date dot uh, you have to write get string format dot to string. Right. So okay second one string time equal txt time dot get text third one doctor and patient now what you are going to do is we have to implement two items here over here doctor get them here another one is a patient item Doctor item patient I mean D doctor P patient. Okay, we have tried the same thing you have to cast it over here as well. Here also cast it. This one should be our text box which name is C B or Doctor. Another one is a patient is a C B or patient. You have declaring like this. Now you have to add the uh, record into the database, right? So first what you are going to do is after that. You write the insert query. You write the insert query. So first, what you are going to do is here. Uh, code the doctor. What the insert code we have wrote? So this is the code we have wrote the insert code, right? So I am going to copy this code. Same insert code. Copy it back to here new appointment or paste them only the things you have write it here or here 
uh, we have to for the connection right here we have to implement the try and catch block that's a problem right so try and catch you have to implement the try and catch block this all things we have to put into inside the try and catch block okay cut this or fix it okay we don't need them remove them right so second one is a uh, this all things you have set it here right after that we have tried to prepare statement uh, first insert into this one should be what is the things appoint so insert into uh, we have to open up a mysql work patch root one two three Uh, here we have right we haven't created the table yet so we have to create the table create a new table which is a appointment the same thing appointment you have to write appointment table it has id which is appointment id primary key date time date time another thing you have to get there means here date time uh, patient doctor 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 id patient id right you are right here this all things i have to make it as something so in the workshop right you have to save all okay perfect right Uh, if you want to set the this one, I'd make it as a uh, auto ID. So we have to alternate this one. That you have to auto auto number increment. So you have to auto increment. And this is how we have field we have set it as auto increment. That is that field. Right now, what you are going to do is here. I'm going to go here. What you are going to do is uh, this one. I write. Appointment. So appointment. ID. Uh, this is a date. Time. This one should be our uh, third field. So, uh, what is field? Patient ID. Sorry, we have a wrongly. We have a date time date time doctor id patient id We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get rid of this another you know, question mark. That first one should be the date. Uh, this one should be the the right set date. Date dot. How do the second field we have to? We have set it later here. Second one is a time. Third 
disturbance is this dr feel you have to get this one as a dot you have to get id instead of the name you have to type as id dr id this is the second one is a you have to write a this one you have to call it as a uh, patient patient also patient also you have to write instead of the patient name you have to add it as id other fields we no need them we have four fields right now let's do the date part i have issue is the uh, date so you have to write it like this you have to call this class simple date format you have to create the object date format new simple date format i have to this is the format i have to register the my date right after that you have to create the variable date date format this date format date format is dot format dot there is a property called dot format here dot format here what is the text box name that is a text date you have to write like this this is the efficient way to write the date okay this date we have to write it over here now there are go away uh okay so this one should be the set string that's it we have to make the date as a string type now let's check it whether it's working fine or not okay now let's check it check it get the date today date time 7 pm with dr peter patient kishan click save button record right record successfully now let's back to your appointment it's working perfectly well here the doctor id is a patient id it's working perfectly well right so i hope you guys you understood things well right here it's working perfectly well right hi will see you in my next lecturing time